Pretty cool, huh? This is the new 9 exposure bracketing option for the Fuji X-T2. Uh, the firmware 2.00 just was released today. It's a really cool feature. I, um, I kind of miss the multi-bracketing shots available by my Sony camera. Where the Fuji X-T2, before this upgrade, only let you do, let you do three bracketing shots. And um, this added feature is great if you're trying to uh, put together pictures in post-processing and trying to get the most out of high dynamic range as possible. Really cool. Um, one thing that um, isn't so cool is I had to reference the manual. Um, fortunately, Fuji published also published an update to their user manual. It's in the link, if, and if you watch my firmware, how to upgrade the firmware, the 2.0 PDF is there. I referenced that real quick. It's pretty easy. Um, just didn't kind of stand out to me when I looked at the menu. So let's go into it, and hopefully you can see the monitor. You can. Let's do just a quick video, guys. Menu. And I'm going to go into the camera option, which is shooting settings, drive settings. Now, you have to, if you can see it on the camera, but you have to switch your mode to the, the bracketing, the BKT mode uh, on your camera. And I'm going to do the um, right button to go in the bracket settings. So here's some selections. Uh, I'm going to go and do AE, I'm um, sorry, the bracketing select. Oh, wrong option. AE bracketing. Now, this is the part I didn't kind of understand at first. I'm going to go into frame step settings. I'm going to go over into that option. And this is where the menu lets you take, I'm going to go nine frames, but you can choose anywhere from, uh, I don't know if the, the lease is two all the way up to nine. And one step, that means exposures. So I have a total of nine exposures, and it's going a step of each. You can you can adjust this um, however you want to do it, but uh, it's pretty cool. I'm doing nine one step, but as you can see, I can I can vary between three steps. It's very flexible, two steps, and some in between. There's there's in the thirds, so you can go up to the thirds, and uh, you can go um, negative negative frames as well as positive frames and I don't know if you can see the um, the exposure how it's expanding um, on the bottom of the screen here it'll it'll tell you where your exposure range is which is which is pretty cool I'm gonna come back out of this and I'm gonna go into frame continuous um, frame slash continuous. What this means is you can select it where you select each frame, but I don't do that. I shoot continuous. You hit the button, it's going to shoot all nine in consecutive, kind of like if you're shooting a burst mode. And then sequence setting. This is zero. It'll this it'll take the same exposures, but you're telling it what sequence to take those, those pictures. So zero is basically zero right in the middle. That's even exposed. Then it'll do the upper exposure uh, frames than the negative exposure frames. But you can change that. I don't see an advantage now. Maybe somebody can think of an advantage. Um, just starting to play with it, really cool. I just wanted to show you guys the new bracketing feature. Um, a lot of updates they released in this firmware. Uh, really cool for the X-T2 owners. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.